What's going on, Dushel Dwarfs? Um, I was going to do... It's been a long time. Well, it's been a long time since I wrote a song, not AI. I see the last song that I wrote was... Uh, uh, the song is not about Tiffany, uh, and then I think uh, the song before that was called, uh, I don't remember, but uh, anyway, so, but aside from that, people were asking me to do another tarot reading from the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I can't find my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, not that I ever had a Yu-Gi-Oh, and someone else totally gave me those, and those weren't mine, I swear to God, I just found those, and I didn't want to throw them away, but since I can't find those anymore... What I'm going to do is I'm going to read from the the uh, I'm going to read from the Bayside leftover bags. And I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. So uh, yeah, um, for no reason whatsoever, I just started yelling. At look, look, you might people are like, was Tiffany seeing him? He's so emotionally manipulative. Yeah, well, that's because she's emotionally abusive. Seriously. Look, just before... Like, I knew that that bitch is more involved in these fake crypto exchanges than she's letting on. Because one of the last things... I think I already talked about this before. One of the last things she said before I tried to pull my money out was she was trying to get me to sign some shitty contract that said she was going to loan me my own money back and I was going to pay her twice as much. So for like every $1 she would give me of my own money back, I would pay her $2. And I was like, no. And then she was like, you could never find someone as pretty as me. And I was like, fuck you, whore, watch this. So anyways, I told, she does it to herself. Like I told Tiffany I wanted to basically take care of her and give her babies and make sure she has no worries in the world. And she was like, oh, okay, well, watch. And then she, for, for like a, a minute, she was like, I'm coming to here and here with my dad. And I was like, let me know when you're done. And she was like, no, okay, I'm, uh, I'm leaving. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, I'm at so-and-so with my dad. Let me know when you are done. I am here. How old are you? Do I try to introduce you to my... Like, I'm not playing that game. I wasn't playing it back then. I'm not playing it right now. All right? I don't like that bullshit. You're supposed to be a runaway. Act like one. All right? Runaways don't have their parents and all that bullshit. Like, look, most of the time when I was in Seville, even Jess, I never met her parents. I've never met her parents. I've talked to them on the phone once or twice because I was joking around, and I, like, called her, I think her mom or her, I think it was her dad on her phone, and I was like, hi, Mr. Kenny, Kenny, whatever the fuck her name was. She was, ha she was half Korean. I was like, hi, Mr. So-and-so. Uh, I've got your daughter here, and uh, you know, she's a real pain in the ass. What do I do to get her to calm down? He's like, well, you know, Jess has always been one of those free-spirited girls, and she likes to, blah, blah, blah. I better take good care of her. I was like, you got it, mister. Hey, you have a nice day. And I was like, your dad seems pretty cool. I gave her back to her phone, and she was like, dad, I'll be home in a few days. <laughs> I was like, wow, a few days. This is going to be fun. Anyways, um, but look, also, Evelyn, well, congratulations, Abby Martinez, on your first, uh, see, I got I to gotta shuffle these now. Congratulations, Abby Martinez, on your first cover in a while as a official model and all that bullshit. Congratulations, I guarantee you it has something to do with some of the AI bullshit I've been doing about them, because it always does. And I'm supposed to be like, oh great, uh, yeah, I support you, but I don't really give a fuck. I just think you're all hot. The plan was to get one of those bitches to fall for me, so I could like settle down with like a bitch who's hot, but not like so crazy that she would like want to like have church raise them. Uh... Tiffany ruined that as well, because Tiffany probably got involved in the beginning of Evie just to stalk me. Because she's a jaded Korean bitch who's never been fondled and felt up until I did it. Probably never since, because everyone's afraid of her bullshittery. And I just think it's annoying. And she's still cute. But anyways, so I'm just not dealing with her bullshit. Fuck!
Okay, see, this one came out. So this is, the universe wants us to know that, see, this is the fear of boof, right? Fear, fear of boof. So this is Lemon Poppers. You see, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, it's if Dark Magician Girl got blasted on Lemon Poppers. So we're going to clarify this. We're just going to leave this here for now. We're going to clarify this. All right, what can we clarify Lemon Poppers with? All right, so... Shuffling the cards. See what the cards have in store for you. Uh, let's do a coffee cup reading too. All right, guys. Let me see now. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but like my coffee thingy, my coffee thingies say that uh, your name is Tiffany. You're a cunt because you're emotionally abusive and you bend over backwards for everyone so that you can make uh, less than one half of one cent. If you make a song that goes viral, we'll see what it says in a minute. All right, because that may not resonate with you. That may not resonate with all the Tiffany's. It may resonate with some Stephanie's. It's always just whatever wherever time you find this reading, it's, it resonates for you. All right. All right. All right. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. All right. <laughs> Uh, so, all right, so, and then, what was it? So, uh, because I basically, uh, I can't, I can't flat out say I own Evie's, uh, web infrastructure, but I could, I could allude to it, I suppose. Uh, but, uh. Uh, the Phantom of the Opera. I said leave box five open. The Phantom of the Opera tonight. That's right, Clarice, whatever the fuck her name was. I'm 100% of the opinion that the Phantom was fucking Meg Jury. He was like, oh, I want Clarice, or whatever the fuck her name is. But she fucking went away. Is that fucking poser ass loser? Fine. And Meg Jury was like, I've wanted you to bang me since I was got my first Loodle phase, and he was like, "Fine, I guess you'll do." I don't have anything against blondes. Come on, let's go. Why else would she stay there the whole time, right? Anyways, this one wants to stick out. This is uh, see, it's some Asian bullshit. It's like you better talk more about Tiffany, or she's gonna get pissy again and make your life miserable. And then the Wall Street silver motherfucker but all blasted and whatnot. Because it's like, if you guys think that the way to get K-pop bitches is to become a music producer or to become an actor or all that bullshit, no. That shit, I keep telling you, that shit is way oversaturated. You want to get into tech, you want to get paid to wiggle the mouse, and you want to invest in crypto and Forex. Because apparently, these dumb bitches can just lose $100,000 like it's nothing. And you're supposed to be like, eh, well, I wipe my ass with that, so who gives a fuck? And that's really all they give a shit about. They want you to think they care about you, but they don't. They give a shit about your money. It's all, all, but and it's not just K it's all bitches. The K-pop bitches are just more open about it because they want nose jobs and shit like that. You want to know how I got a nose job? I got punched in the nose a bunch of times and it broke. And then they, and then they set it for me and they set it wrong. I think you can see it how like they set it wrong, so it started healing all funny. And I went in for a checkup because they make you get checked up every time before you fight. And they were like, oh, hold on. And they're like, all right, come back in two weeks, and then we'll sign the fucking thingy. It's like, ah, you motherfucker, ah, ah, I can breathe better though, ah, like that's kind of like what it is, assholes. All right, so. So we've got to clarify this. So we've got Dark Magician Girl who says that Tiffany's a cunt. And then the Ted's Buds Bubba Gumco that says you can't not talk about Tiffany even though she's a cunt because she just really cares about attention. And the best way to give her attention is to make a fuck ton of money. That way she'll stalk you. All right. There you go. So we have so far. Let's see what the cards have. is still... Shit, god damn it, it's gonna be my mom again. I already know it.
That wasn't my mind. That was pharmacy bullshit. I don't want to get into that. So, I don't want to get into doctor bullshit. It's just doc. Like I don't like doctors. I don't like doctors. I know exactly what I need. I need a butyrol, whatever the fuck, sulfate, whatever the fuck. The shit, uh, the shit for basically for the time I got my lungs infected because they were pumping sewage into the water. Literally, like for a year, the water was so bad that I started drinking only ginger ale because I the water was just like it, it was like dark brown. Like we had to filter it just to drink it, and it tasted just fucking weird. And I actually, like, look, I was making all those jokes about, like, parasites. I wouldn't be shocked if I do have some parasites that I shout out. Because back, but probably, like, not recently. Like, a long time ago. Because that was back when I was, when they were dumping sewage. The Rivanna water plant had sewage dumping into the reservoir back in Seaville. That was back when I was broke as shit. And my own family wouldn't give me $20 to go to a fucking health clinic to get what was it? Kefilex, which is a non-narcotic antibiotic. Um, and I probably got more sick because we had no money. Uh, and I was like killing squirrels with slingshots that were digging through our trash and shit like that. And digging up field onions and just cooking them real good. That was not a good year. I mean, like, it was, but it was, in retrospect. Like, the fact that I survived it made it a good year, not going through it. Like, every time some bullshit happens to me, I'm like, this is so not like that. This is so much easier than that time, blah, 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 happened. So it's just, I don't want to get into it. But, all right. So, The Witch's Coven has put out an article. And, like, I half the time, like, I can tell when they're writing about me. Other times, I can't. Every time they put out a Ask Evie, sometimes they write shit about me. And sometimes I can't tell if they are or not. Like that one time, they were like, "What? Me and him are the same religion," and then they say that they're Catholic. But it's like, well, the, apparently me and Tiffany are Mormon, or I was raised Mormon, or whatever the fuck. And don't get me started on that bullshit. But all right, this one, they can't all come out. So come on, we need. That's the one that comes out then. All right. Two of them came out. Two of the cards came out. Let's see what the cards... This one came out first, and then this one came out second. So the first one that said was Goja. Doja. Premium Cannabis. Yeah, that bitch uh, is a straight-up Doja. She is a total flaking whatever the fuck in the moment will make people happy, even if it makes her miserable, straight up doja, whatever the fuck. White runts, cannabis flower. Purple. Purple is royalty. She's a real pain in the ass. And tuxedo mask was a top hat, so she probably sees me as tuxedo mask. So let's clarify all this bullshit. So Tiffany, the cunty twat, who wants everyone to talk about her or she flips out because she's an attention-seeking whore, and uh, she views me as someone who can solve all her problems and will not stop stalking me. It's pretty much what it is. All right. So, um, um, the thing that their last article, or whatever the fuck, that is like, she's mom is ruining our relationship. No, it's not. You don't understand. My parents don't give a shit. Like, my family does not give a shit about me. Like, the next time they have a family reunion, they'll, like, let me know uh, pretty much. So, like, wait, that way if I was to leave immediately and make it there, I would be there for the last 10 minutes of it. Like, we just don't get along. And it's, it's mainly because I don't want to play any of their bullshit games and let them, like, use me as some kind of, like, emotional trauma bond so they can, like have misery for their company. I'd rather just detach from all that bullshit and better my life. Which was exactly what... Look, my mom literally would, like, freak out. Every time her and my, my dad would get into fights, she would freak out and, like, pull me out of school or pull me out of detention or wherever the fuck I was and take me to, like, Alateen, 
not for teens who drink and do drugs. This is like before any of that shit happened. But for like teens who come from families who drink and do drugs and all the shit that they go through. And the whole way there and the whole way back, she's like, don't you become codependent like me and your father, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you don't got to worry about that shit. Trust me. Anyways. But my parents literally were in their early 20s and in the army doing like nursing and infantry bullshit when they decided to get married just before the economy crashed in the 80s for the, the real hardcore time. And their best idea was to have more kids. Maybe one of them will do something for the whole family. But well, we're not going to do that either, because the last time I tried to do that, all you assholes tried to spend my money and all a bunch of bullshit, so I ended up not catching out any of it, and it's probably the best decision I ever made. Because I can make another million dollars and more, I don't think you guys can. So I'm not trying to be an asshole about it, I'm just saying what it is. Now that being the case, my father had a stroke, he's recovering from that, seems like he's going to be living for a long time after this, but they were trying to pull the plug on him. And to be quite honest, I kind of see my mom's point of view of selling the house, even if it's not for that much money, because it's like a stop loss hits. Yeah, okay, cut losses now and whatever the fuck, right? Just move the fuck on. I get that. I get that. What you don't understand is there's something called not myself, okay? Not my, I call it not myself because if I say, uh, it's not really selflessness. It's like, I'm going to think about not myself. I could not help my, my, my parents right now in their time of need and really just give them the money whenever I can. I could keep that and go hang out with Tiffany and all that bullshit, but why? Tiffany doesn't deserve to be hung out with. Go hang out with your dad. Go have another brunch. Let me know when it's done and all that bullshit because you're never going to because you don't want to communicate with me you don't want to start or whatever with me you want to control me and have me fit into some box in your life that i just don't want to be a part of i was wanting to start something new with you and you don't want to do that that's fantastic go do what you were doing at your age i don't care i'm happy for you there's got look there's got to like statistically some 34 35 year old k-pop star is gonna make it big statistically it's gotta happen eventually it might as well be you right you don't need me for that bullshit anyways so and that i didn't read it all i just kind of glanced at it but the basic article thing is like she needs to put me first all the time no i don't because every time I try to do that, you get bitchy and cunty and twatty. And then you run away. And then you want me to, like, go to fancy parties and talk to losers, like, that I just don't want to talk to. Like, stupid, shaky hand losers. Okay? The the big secret that all you didn't know is that I met Gordon B. Hinckley when he was the head of all, all your guys' club. That was a big secret. And he, like, he told me something. He was like... He, not, I, he specifically told me, like I didn't meet him for long, but like I we shook hands and all that bullshit. He gave me a wink, and he was like, he was like, God loves all his, God loves all his children, but he really likes you. It was it was just before he had his cane, but whatever the fuck, that's the big secret. That's why that's why I outrank you all, and I don't even give a shit because it's all bullshit. It's all just bullshit. The big secret is, if you're an adult, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay? So, Tiffany's an adult, and she doesn't want to be a part of my life. Good for her. Go write an article about it. Go make an awesome song about it. I don't give a shit. What's going to happen is, whoever the fuck stole my niece's money is going to go to jail. I don't care about... Look, this bitch could have just said, I need $100,000 to go make some shitty auto-tune music. I'd appreciate it if you would be there with me. If you can't, I understand it. Offer stands... Whatever the fuck. I would have said, if it means that much to you, fine. Whatever the fuck. And I probably wouldn't have given her 100000 but I would have given her like fifty or seventy or some bullshit like that, right? No, this bitch steals. Because she doesn't respect anyone. 
She's going to do whatever the fuck her management team tells her to do because she doesn't care about herself enough to value her own time to not become a 34-year-old used goods hag from Diamond Bar who no one wants to work with because she's hard to work with and no one wants to date her because she's hard to date. Why? Because she's too busy having brunch with her dad. Okay? When are you going to grow the fuck up? It seems like you're dating your dad. Was that the, was, was that your dad? I would, look, Mr. Whatever the fuck, Huang Myung, whatever, if, that, if that was you, you seemed really cool. But, like, I see where Tiffany gets it from. I didn't want to send... Why the, I didn't want to send fucking encrypted communications to a tea party back and forth. What the fuck was that about? You can't... You, none of you can just fucking video chat? What the fuck is that bullshit? You... So annoying. I don't talk to my own father. I don't talk to my own mother. Why the fuck would I want to talk to your parents? Just... Oh, I almost threw all my cards. Let's do another reading. Okay, this one wants to really stick out. It's got to be about Tiffany again because she's a cunt. All right. I'm going to do one more to clarify what, what's going on with Tiffany. Okay, Tiffany's a biscotti. She has to be opened up specifically. Otherwise, it's going to break. Uh, Cupid's piss. Yeah, Tiffany, uh, her emotions are like Cupid's piss. And it's got to be all about Tiffany or she gets pissy. And... Kennedy gas. So Tiffany's cunty. Uh, she's difficult to the core. Uh, she's uh, she's Cupid piss all about her, and she's candy gas. All right, so that's that's the reading today. All right, guys, peace out.